Hello and welcome. My name is Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. This is the channel right here. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel, that continues to watch these videos daily and leaves a comment. Your support is greatly appreciated. Let's go on over to the uh, community website over here and have a look at what happened about a week ago, so um, around about the 22nd of February. Uh, there was a little bit of a preview on the uh, Black Library celebration. Happy Black Library Day, everyone, 2020. It's today on the uh, 29th of February. You can pop into your local store and you know maybe pick up Watchers of the Throne, Regent Shadow by Chris Raitt. Uh, the, the two models even, um, and a number of other uh, Black Library uh, novels. There was a few things revealed at the New York Toy Fair. Uh, you've got the Warhammer Underworlds, uh, Beast Grave, and you've got Morgox Crushers, which I believe are new, new models um, for Iron Jaws. Uh, you had a look at the Avenger Strike Fighters, which have been around for quite a while, quite a number of years on Forge World's website as a, as a full kit. Um, I'm quite a big fan, uh, and it's nice to see them in uh, the Skies of Fire in the Aeronautica uh, game. Then there's uh, three separate board games, Rise of the Orcs, Blitz Bowl, and Crypt Hunters. If you look at these and you look at the models, um, it looks like you're getting uh, the Terminators from the Space Marine Heroes 2 set in the uh, the Rise of the Orcs one, but just in different colours. Uh, there's this, I think that looks like a Flamer one. If you see there, look, it's just like a Salamander's one. So that's the one that I'm uh, missing, I'd say. So that's quite cool. It would be great if you got the um, Captain as well, though. And then if we look at this one, this is the Age of Sigma one. Uh, you've got some Sigmarites and Nighthorn models. And then this one here, uh, you've got Blood Bowl teams as well. Uh, then there's some new action figures revealed as well uh, by um, McFarlane uh, Toys. So they were the things revealed at the New York Toy Fair. Uh, <clears throat> Last Saturday you could order some Valhalla Ice Warriors, they were made to order, so if you wanted to um, uh, order those, I think they took quite a while to get to you, um, but you had the chance uh, last weekend to, to do that. You could um, put on Instagram, hashtag Painting Black Library, any of the models that sort of feature in the no novels, um, and uh, yeah, Black Library would pick them up. Then on the Sunday there was a preview for, finally, Jane Zarr and and Drazar um, are now available separately along with their um, perspective aspect warriors. Um, there's the Hound of Banshees, and there's Drazar, and then there's the Incubi. I've got all of these models already, um, just type these in individually into the channel and you should get the results. I've already uh, reviewed them, and uh, that's the beauty of getting them in the Blood of the Phoenix box set quite a few months ago. Um, but I'm pleased that they've finally been released uh, separately and not too long after um, that box set was, was released. Of course, I'd much prefer if they were all released uh, at the same time, but there we go, we finally got them. I chose to support that release, and mainly because I want to see all of the Aspect Warriors for Eldari. There was a Spinners episode, the Weapon Test, Psychic Awakening, the Feast, focusing on um, Space Wolves, at the Speed of Light, a uh, close look at the Lumineth um, Realm Lords, the uh, Knights, these Venari Dawn Riders, they look absolutely stunning, can't wait to get my hands on these. And lovely banner there as well. And then there was a Black Library celebration. They did this uh, throughout last week really, uh, focusing on um, different uh, novels. They focused on Cal Jericho, and uh, you can actually pick up his model with uh, scabs from Forge World uh, in a pack. Then there was a Psychic Awakening Saga of the Beast, a uh, bit of an article about Gaskell coming back, Rumor Engine, five things to know about the Adepticon Warhammer preview, Adeptus uh, Titanicus engine kill, a look at the Warhound and uh, their two new, uh, I said, close combat weapons, 
the Ursus Claw, which can use to grapple larger Titans and pull them down. Obviously not just one more hand, you need a, a group of them to do this. Um, and also the other weapon, which is the Natrix Shock Lance. It says it's an upgraded version of the Ursus uh, Claw, and it can shut down uh, enemy Titans. They look really excellent, these weapons, and uh, yeah, if of course you've magnetised all your, your Titans, um, just keep an eye on Forge World and they'll be up for uh, pre-order probably next weekend uh, on the Friday, I would, I would think. There was an Aldari uh, kit bash, Warhammer Community Team Conversions. Uh, these looked fantastic. I love this bow one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, proper kit bash. I mean, both the Incubi and the Hound and Banshee kits aren't that customizable. But you can certainly kit bash uh, some of them. I like I like the flames coming off these swords; they look amazing. Then it looks like there was another um, kit bash conversion as well. Man the Wars Black Library sieges. So these are some of the um, most popular uh, sieges in novel form, including yeah Storm of Iron, which is absolutely stunning book. I really recommend that if you haven't already read it. And then you've got uh, the Siege of Terror, uh, which is going to you know, take place in eight novels, uh, and I'd recommend those as well. There's a regimental standard. Start reading Warhammer Age of Sigma, so a big push for Age of Sigma novels, and it gives you a selection of model, a uh, selection of books to uh, to start off with. Uh, Warcry: Prove Your Might at Local Store. Space Marines Rules Update. This was pretty big. Um, you can just go to there and press download, and then you've got updates uh, for the the Space Marine Codex that came out in September. Um, quite a while now, but uh, you can um, have a look at any burning questions that have uh, troubled you uh, all those months ago. Then there's a look at Valerian and Alea on the battlefield. Um, lovely models. Uh, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first look at these uh, later on today, so please join me for, for that video. Uh, there's a look at the rules, and it says here, um, his profile is enough to make enemies weep. It's not. That's exactly the same profile as a shield captain. So again, Games Workshop with the hype. The only hype thing about uh, this model's rules is just the plus two strength in um, melee for his spear. So you're just getting one extra strength um, compared to another shield captain. So and and the golden laurels as well, um, which means once per battle, not per round or um, you know whatever. It's once per battle. Uh, you can re-roll the hit roll, wound rolls, or damage rolls. That might be quite decent, but yeah, I, there's not enough to make him, you know, stand out in my opinion. Uh, a layer, similar, similar story here with her, um, and then talents of the emperor. Uh, they both need to be set up uh, at the same time, but they don't need to be set up in unit coherency. So that's quite nice. Um, and then in psychic awakening, because at the moment you can't use them in you know specific uh, army to be battleforged army um, quite conveniently one of the psychic awakening books as it mentioned uh, you will be able to do that um, so yeah get ready to buy a book that allows you to use those two uh, units in their respective army you've got role models born in a barn uh, dark angels interemptors uh, from Forge World. Uh, we'll have a look at those uh, very shortly uh, these are the dreadwing interemptors uh, they are Lionel Johnson's ultimate sanction, uh, final curse for those foolish enough to stand against the First Legion. Uh, they have a plasma burner, which is horrific. Um, it's very short range, it's only 12 inches, and it's only strength 4, but it's armor penetration of 2, which, if you're going by the old school rules, the 7th edition, yeah, if you're in Terminator armor, that's going to melt you. You're going to have to use your invulnerable save. It's Assault D3 plus 1 as well, so statistically you're going to have 3 shots or more um, and you're going to be wanting to move them uh, to your enemy as quickly as possible. You've also got Plasma Flame, which really, um, they ignore cover as well, uh, so you're not going to be getting any cover saves from these uh, AP2 uh, weapons. And also Overwatch attacks, any fail to hit rolls may be re-rolled as well. So they are going to be a tricky uh, squad to deal with um, especially if your opponent has them in a, a transport like a land raider or something you have 10 of these guys in a land raider oh my lord um, or some kind of or a faster uh, transport um, but still uh, they're going to be hard to to get rid of uh, unless you do it by range which is 
my prefer, preferred method uh, to get rid of these. Then there was an Adeptus Titanicus latest FAQs. Um, you know, uh, you've got FAQs in terms of uh, Castus Knights, Warbringer Titan weapon cards. Uh, you know, the the Carapace weapons have a new damage effect, weapon critically uh, disabled. Uh, so they put that into the FAQ and stratagem points as well. And Legio uh, forted us. Um, they've got a, a tweak to the Legio trait loss sons. And then Shadow of Iron has a couple of corrections and clarifications. Warlord Sinister weapon cards as well. Um, the ones that come in uh, with the, the model itself. And you can download all those here on the community web website. There's a final Black Library celebration, Our Top Picks. There's the first wall. Conveniently, that's the, one of the most recent uh, Siege of Terror books that they've released. Cal Jericho, the brand new uh, Lionel Johnson book, and then the brand new Regent Shadow Watchers of the Throne. So they're the top picks for you to pick up uh, today at the Black Library celebration. Um, there, there probably will be a few free things, and uh, it will be a nice... Uh, atmosphere I would have thought at your local games workshop if you pop in. Then there was an Aldari Tactica The Art of Combat uh, focusing on um, best ways to use these you know target selection don't go for hordes um, you know use fast transports what you'd expect from like a, a glass sword um, kind of unit. Anyway that's it for the uh, news let's jump on over to Forge World and have a look at those interemptors so if we click on new and we go to pre-orders. There is only one pre-order, and that is that Dark Angels Legion Interemptor Squad. I think the price, £42 for five of them, uh, is reasonable um, when you compare them to other Legion-specific Space Marine uh, squads. They all are unique. Um, you know, one of them even has a larger weapon there. Uh, you've got this sergeant. They've all got the Dark Angels uh, insignia on them. Uh, on their chest plates, uh, on their shoulder pauldrons, they've got different uh, helmets too. Um, if we just look at the sergeant, for instance, he's hol holding a uh, plasma magazine. I want to call it. I'd say it's maybe it's a gas canister or something. You've got a little gauge on there. He's got this cool um, combat blade. Even the power plant looks a little bit different. It's got this extra armor thing there, this extra um, plating, and then. Uh, yeah, a couple more grenades. So he is very specific, and we look at the whole squad. You've got these. I'm loving the armor and the weapons. It's just a paint job. I'm not. A, I'm not a huge fan of um, in terms of the, the plasma, but they. There we go. Yeah. Very decent. If you're a Dark Angels fan, um, you know you've, you've got a lot of nice models. I mean, we were spoilt with the Inner Circle Knights of Cenobian. We really were because they are uh, incredible models, especially when um, uh, joined with that Dark Angels uh, Praetor as well and the Leviathan Dreadnought. But if we click on downloads, you've actually got the rules um, for them. Uh, I guess that they're going to be in one of the the next books. But here you go, Dreadwing Interemptor Squad. 160 points there, uh, you've got the plasma burners, it says um, plasma incinerator here, you can have 10 of them, uh, it says here for every 5 models you can get uh, exchange plasma burner for missile launcher with suspensor web, rad missiles, stasis missiles or plasma incinerator with a suspensor web. This is a plasma incinerator, it's a um, further range, by only by 6 inches though, uh, but it is heavy D3 plus 4, so you've got a potential of 7 shots at AP2 that ignores cover and has this plasma flame. There's nothing about it, uh, none of these plasma weapons blowing up, um, you're rolling ones or anything like that, uh, which is absolutely fantastic uh, that you know this really showcases these weapons, um, you know, the, the technology for the weapons and their uh, effectiveness in the 31st millennium. Nothing about rolling a wand that will um, blow up your models, which is even more of a reason to get them. Yes, you can't overcharge them, but they're very decent already. It's just they are a little bit of a, you know, 
low low strength if there's one thing i would change it's it's i put the strength up to five or maybe six but I, I wouldn't reach it at seven or eight no way anyway that's a little look at the rules for them and that's the only pre-order from forge world uh, these interrupters uh, for 42 pounds let's go on over and look at games workshop where there isn't an awful lot of things uh, to pre-order and to, to buy today of course they're advertising the big black library celebration 2020 if we click on new and exclusive and pre-orders uh, you've got Watchers of the Throne collection, £48 there uh, for the book and the two models. I think the two models are £30, which is £15 each, which isn't too bad. Or you could say it's £20 for uh, Valerian and um, £10 for uh, Alea. Uh, you've got a little bit of a closer look at them there. Uh, lovely looking models, I just think the head is a bit too big for um, Valerian, that's my only take on that. And then you've got the book too. So yeah, a book and two models, almost 50 quid. You got Lionel Johnson, Lord of the First, uh, limited edition. I don't think they've released the uh, standard edition as well at the same time, which really does suck. And it's something I, I'm not a fan of at all. I think they should release both the standard edition, either the hardback or the softback, and the limited edition at the same time. Um, but the, they, they love having these limited edition, uh, more expensive versions of their products first. Uh, then you've got a Legion pin badge set for £40. You've got the Incubi, which is £2.50, and the Howl and Banshees, £32.50. That's quite expensive. I think that is, um, for both of these, we knew they were going to be expensive anyway, but for Monopose models, without any customization at all out of the box, I think that's a bit ludicrous, considering when you can get 10 intercessors for £35. For, so for £2.50 more, you can get 10 intercessors. I, I don't understand this. The, these should be £25, maybe 30 at a push. But yeah, they're, they're really pushing these £32.50 uh, models, uh, box sets. Then you've got Sabbat Wells Crusade map for 30 That's what it is. If you're into the book, oh, well, it says no longer available online. Uh, Valerian and Alea separately for £30. Jane Zar for 25 and Drazar for 25 Now that's not too bad. Um, really, that's that's almost accept acceptable um, for kind of big models with the scenic bases as well. That's how much the Primaris characters have cost recently, which I thought was overpriced. But these are quite large models with the big scenic bases, loads of detail. That's not too bad. I'm pleased that they're not £30, put it that way, or like £27.50. They could have pushed both of them for £27.50, especially Jane Zar. Anyway, uh, 13th Legion, 20th Anniversary Edition, £20, and then the first wall, £20 hardback. Uh, I wonder when we'll, we'll reach £30 for the book. Um, I've got a feeling we'll reach £30 uh, before we get to the 8th book. Let's uh, let's see how far it goes with this. Um, you've got the Loathsome, Bratman and all their vile kin, £20. You've got Cal Jericho, uh, Sinner's Bounty. I guess that's the new Cal, Cal Jericho book because there was one not that long ago out, that's 18. Uh, Watchers of the Throne, Regent Shadow, Hardback. Oaths and Conquest, Hardback, 18. Yeah, you can get the Black Library Celebration Custodies Dice set for £12.50. I think you get 20 there, yep, yeah, they look all right. Uh, Hell's Reach in paperback, and Iron Company in paperback, 8 99 and 7 99 respectively. And then the Black Library uh, Celebration Anthology 2020. Now you get that free with every physical item. So you could purchase the dice today, you'd have to pay the postage obviously, um, but then you'd get your Black Library Celebration little uh, uh, book of six short stories, uh, or you could pick up Jane Zar and Valerian or whatever, and you'll get that little book. So that's a nice little freebie. I always try and pick those up if I make an order or if I pop into the store. Anyway, there you go. That is everything uh, up in terms of news and pre-orders for today. Uh, like I say, not a, a huge amount. It's just a, you know, a few pre-orders of things that we haven't had before uh, separately, such as the Aspect Warriors and the Drakari. What do you guys think of everything that's up for pre-order today? Are you pre-ordering anything uh, or are you still holding your breath for the rest of the Sisters of Battle releases which now are definitely destined for March, um, either next weekend or, or the next couple of weekends? Uh, check back on the community website tomorrow and uh, we'll find out because they usually mid-afternoon put up uh, previews of, of what's going to be coming out the, the week after. 
Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching The Emperor Protect.